Hi, I'm Lee Swanson, president of Swanson Health Products. I'm here today with Dr. Barbara Hendel, author of the best-selling book, Water and Salt, The Essence of Life and the Heating Power of Nature. Um, Barbara, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how the common table salt most of us use in our cooking differs from the Himalayan salt you recommend in your, in your books and in your health programs? Um, well, um, the earlier salt, when, when we found the salt, um, the salt is a combination um, of all minerals we have here in, in our earth. Um, the and Himalayan salt. The, the this is this salt. is the natural, the Himalayan salt. All salt, uh, it's in this combination when it's na when it's a nature salt, natural salt. Um, but um, when the uh, uh, the in industrial development comes up, they refused all these minerals as an uh, impurity because um, they need the salt not for cooking, not for eating, they need the salt uh, to make soap, to make uh, plastic things and, and so on. So 93% goes in the industry and not on our table. And so industry has taken what should be a good and natural food and they've refined it and they've taken out the good minerals and the good things in, in the salt that should yeah, be there. That, that's it. It's only sodium chloride. And sodium chloride is a very aggressive substance. And it, it burdens our body because um, um, there, um, there are no these other elements we need. It, it's not a holistic uh, food. Uh, it's, it's a chemical food. It's only two substances. It's sodium and chloride. Now, doesn't, uh, don't salt processors also add some chemicals to table salt uh, to make it flow properly, like yeah. things like fluoride, yeah. other chemicals that, that may be unhealthy for the body? Yes, that's it. They put out all these natural uh, substances and put in um, chemical substances. So everybody has to, has to eat that, but, uh, but for some people, um, it's uh, it's it's not good because they don't don't need it and uh, and it even hurts them. Uh, it make it ill. So uh, it's better if you need iodine, you you uh, you have a, a prescription from your doctor, and not everybody has to eat that. You mentioned in your book that uh, there's been some very sound research indicating that too much iodine in the diet can contribute to thyroid cancer. Yeah, that's that. This is the truth. Yes, and therefore I'm against this uh, uh, this ad, uh, addition. Uh, if somebody needs it, and there are people they need that, um, you you have a prescription from your doctor, and then it's good for you, but not for everybody. And um, and there are really studies um, that the uh, cancer for the thyroidite increases. Um, in, in, in these parts uh, where everybody has to eat this salt. I think the Japanese, uh, you referenced. Yes, the Japanese, the Japanese yeah. Japanese mm -hmm. who eat a lot of seaweed, a lot of iodine yeah, uh, through yeah. kelp and seaweed yeah. products have a much higher rate of thyroid cancer yeah, than, yeah, than, the, than, uh, mm -hmm. than other societies. That's true, yeah. Um, I was also interested, um, most people here in the States consume between 12 and 15 pounds of salt per year in their diet. And I think it's interesting that uh, in your book you believe that modern table salt is basically a poison. Yeah, um, uh, it's, it's a, we, we all need salt because... Uh, the right type of salt. Yeah, but what type of... Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is the question. And, and we need this natural salt and not this, this chemical product. And uh, all, all people around the world, they eat too much salt. And this salt um, our body wants to eliminate uh, and therefore uh, he needs uh, the most uh, valuable water in our body, our cell uh, water. And pure water. Uh, yes, and, and then uh, he has it, uh, he has it uh, to eliminate uh, and to uh, excrete. Yes. You say excrete? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh, to excrete. Um, but this th uh, uh, these cells uh, dry out then and they die. And um, yeah, the salt causes dehydration. Yes, the, this is then uh, the the cells de dehydrate. Yes, and and uh, um, they died. And yeah, the, this this is the result then. 
It's interesting that um, if you can imagine putting 12 to 15 pounds of what is considered a poison into our bodies every year, year after year after year, and that's why I'm so excited about Dr. Hendale's book, Water and Salt, The Essence of Life and the Heating Power of Nature. Barbara has a wonderful program for detoxifying the body, um, helping the body heal through a pure organic diet, through using a pure Himalayan crystal salt, the type of salt our bodies can, can and, and need to be healthy. So in our next few uh, videos with Barbara, we'll discuss her, her, her program and how it can work for you. Well, thank you, Barbara, and we'll talk to you again soon. It was a pleasure. Thank you.